Hi, love bugs. Coach Kara here. So today we are doing yet another subscriber um, request. Um, someone reached out to me in regards to having a recurring issue of not being pleased in the relationship. And so they kind of just wanted me to shed some light on the situation. But here's what you have to keep in mind. All right. So because I don't know the whole, you know, situation of what's going on in the relationship, I can only give you information, feedback on what you, only what you provided me. Okay. So hopefully I will help you resolve your issue in some form or fashion. All right. Yes. Thank you guys for, for joining me today. I appreciate you always. So, and if any of you are having issues when it comes to the bedroom and not being pleased, you know, it's, it's not bad, but at the same time, the pleasure is lacking, you know, it's mediocre, a bit mundane perhaps. Well, there's probably a reason for that. So, so here's what, like I said, everyone's situation will probably defer but typically when you are in a relationship a connection you guys came together for certain reasons it, it's either for for someone's intellect you admire their character and their persona you know you have a spiritual bond and you're spiritually connected and then there's physically that physical attraction okay and so what usually happens is either two people are physically drawn to each other. And you know what I'm talking about when it's, oh, damn. Like when you see them and it's like, whoa, yeah, both of you have that same energy and that sexual chemistry. You know, you already know when it comes down to it, what's going to really pop off, right? Okay, so there's that. But what happens when there is a person who is, you know, really attracted to this physically attracted and the other person isn't. So that could be what's going on in your connection. Furthermore, you seem to have um, a higher sex drive. It takes more to please you. Um, you just need more like foreplay, more of everything. And this person is lacking. All right. So, you know, the subscriber actually says that they've been together for a little over two years. So that means you've been tolerating this for quite some time now, which is admirable. Okay. A lot of people won't stay in there for that length of time if they're being displeased. And I say that because and many of you may say, well, that's not a reason to check out of a relationship. Listen, we all have our preferences. We all have our desires. Some people need to in a, in a connection they need to have a home cooked meal six days a week or someone needs to receive a gift of admiration once a week or something like that if there's a desire that you need to have or need that needs to be met and for this individual this just so happens to be one of them you know and and based on what I was reading you may also have a higher sex drive like you and so it may seem to come off as a need and this is something that your person may not be able to meet. So here's the thing. Hopefully you have tried different tactics like, you know, enhancements and all different types of, you know, positions and, and when to do it. That matters to like the time of day. Brought some toys into the equation. And if you have and that still isn't working, here's the reason for that is. When you present this sort of information to especially a man he may be offended okay <laughs> you just have to know that it is a risk when you want to you know try to teach someone something or bring something new to the table because you're not being fulfilled you know every time it's time for a sexy time you know you already know to expect just an entree and never the full course Ugh, that's gotta suck no I've been there and most women have especially when it comes to reaching the big O, right? Yes, it doesn't happen. And you know, I was actually watching an episode of, I believe, was it Married Huntsville or something like that? 
and Kimmy was expressing to her husband they were having a, a, a conversation about this and she said well I've never you I've never screamed orgasm and he was so shocked and appalled and offended and of course it caused some some little rifts in their their relationship to the point where they needed a sexual there a sex therapist so this is what I'm saying so if you present this information to your person they may be offended and they feel some type of way and hopefully you don't have a vindictive, a vindictive person in your connection because things could happen all right we talk about the ego the ego needs to be fed it needs to be reassured by the right the right words and and the proper feedback otherwise bad things could happen and you know what i mean okay so but um if it's just not giving well it, it really boils down to this you know especially if the chemistry is one-sided or not complete on both sides you're gonna have that issue but just know that just because your person isn't you know giving what you need keep in mind now <laughs> there is someone for everyone there is an individual out there that will actually get them to that point to where they want to give you that hour that you need or more pleasure that he's willing to do that for because that person gives him that sexual desire you know like I said the sexual chemistry isn't there or it's one-sided or not complete on one side you're, you're more likely to have issues you know you may have one person who wants it all the time and then someone uh no i mean i want it but not like that not every day or every other you know there's going to be some lacking there so you're going to have that conflict okay yeah? but here's what it, what it comes down to all right so i can't tell you to, to cheat that would just be completely wrong <laughs> as an alternative so you can either, if you're not feeling fulfilled in that area and you feel like it is quite a desire and you feel like it's hindering you and it prevents you from being a better partner to your partner for your relationship, well, what's fair is fair. You can leave. You understand? If you're getting what you need from your person, for the most part, emotionally, they support you. They're there for you. You know, they're um, considerate. Everything is pretty much running smoothly and reciprocal. But in just in that area, you feel fully affected and deprived. Okay, so there's caveats and nuances to everything, right? So if you leave this situation in search of, or perhaps you already have someone in mind. And if you do, I mean, big ups to you. Just know this. This is how life works. You go out there, you get what you need, what you've been looking for. And then once the thrill begins to wear off, you feel pleased in that area. Your cup still seems half full. Why is that? Well, it's because now you're lacking that love that you were getting, that attention, the gifts or whatever it is that your person was giving to you. And this individual is only giving you what one thing, the one thing that you was craving for and desiring for so much. You see how that works? And this is why many people, they spin the block, you know, they double back for reasons like this, being unfulfilled in one major area, whereas they have everything else going good and then they go out in search of, and then they still don't feel whole. And so they come back. So there's that. Or you could continue to tolerate this behavior and just don't look at it as lacking. Whatever your person can give you at that time is what they can give you. You know, you, you can't force something that doesn't fit. Perhaps, you know, he's not really into sex all that much. And believe it or not, a lot of men are not. They may not need the kinky and all of this extra stuff and, you know, foreplay and, and all of that. You, you understand? So if your person is giving you what you need you know in all the other areas for the most part well then you kind of have to sacrifice here yeah you have to sacrifice that because the truth be told when you go ahead in these streets and these wolves <laughs> they get a hold of you all of these savages out here you're going to wish to guard you with your person however on the flip side 
If your person isn't giving you much of what you need in, in most areas, well then, I mean, hey, this decision has already been made for you. You just have to find a way to take action, okay? So these decisions right here are not easy to make, but again, it, relationships itself, it's like a gamble. You have to take a risk. You have to sacrifice something. <laughs> it's, it's a sacrifice. You're sacrificing that one major desire that you crave and you need for an actual wholesome relationship. Okay? All right. So listen, if you, if you have a, a situation that is similar to this, but a little bit more in depth and a bit more, you know, serious, all of my information will be down below. I'll be glad to further assist you. Um, I just need all the details so we can dig a little deeper. I like to go deep, but this is just something more surface and more general for most people. Okay. But yeah, I thank you so much for joining me. That is all for now, my loves. Until next time.